Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to answer the question, what are... <laughs> Let me try this again. <laughs> what question are we trying to answer? All right. Okay. Welcome... <laughs> oh, this is too much. What All are right. cycloalkanes? Well, cycloalkanes are alka alkanes that are connected in circles. That's not what I want to say. Okay, start over. Oh man, it's hard to start sometimes, isn't it? Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to answer the question, what are cycloalkanes? Well, the definition goes as follows. They are saturated hydrocarbons. So hydrocarbons are molecules that only contain carbon and hydrogen. Saturated means that every carbon has as many hydrogen attached to it as is possible based upon the shape and the connection of the molecule. So those are called alkanes. And then in addition to that, the carbon chains making up the alkane forms a complete loop. So here we have an example where we have three carbons forming a loop, four carbons forming a loop, five carbons, six carbons, and so forth. We've only shown you four examples. And so the name associated with that cycloalkane is, of course, associated with the number of carbons it has. For three carbons, we call it propane, but since it's connected in a loop, we call it cyclopropane. With four carbons, we call it butane, but since it's connected in a loop, we call it cyclobutane. And here we have cyclopentane and cyclohexane. Notice the chemical formula is CnH2n. In other words, for every carbon, there's exactly two hydrogens, and it starts from a minimum of n equals 3, a minimum of 3 carbons, because if there's less than 3 carbons, you cannot form a, clo a closed loop. So here, that's the minimum, the smallest size cyclo, uh, what we call cycloalkane that you can have. Now, again, we can have cycloalkanes that, of course, have other functional groups attached to it, but these are the basic forms, and we'll see more of these later. Now, at least, now we know what cycloalkanes are. 